So, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to do a quick review of editing your photos in the standard app that comes on your iPhones. It is called Photos. I know a lot of you just take photographs, don't always do a lot of editing, but this is Digital Darkroom. It is an editing course. First, I'm going to click in the upper right where it says Photos. It will open up, and as you can see, I have a nice photo I took on vacation. For your first assignment, you're going to have to show me photos that were taken and then photos that were edited. And we're going to do side-by-side -side comparisons. So in the bottom left where you see the share button, I'm going to click that, but I'm going to scroll up to where it says duplicate. So now if I were to go back, I could see I have two photos side-by-side. -side. The first one and the second one I will now click on. Now I'm going to go to edit in the upper right corner. First thing I like to do is always crop, again, if necessary, but I'm going to crop a little bit on my photograph. I kind of like that. I'm not going to get into proportions. I hit my crop and hit done. All right, next one I go in edit mode again. I am now going to go at the bottom, okay, to where it says adjust which i am in i don't want auto i am going to slide over and first thing is use exposure ladies and gentlemen i slide every every single adjustment with my thumb then i will go to brilliance i slide to see what looks good then i will go to highlights i always want to br there's always highlights there i'm going to bring them back understand any camera takes a general photo and it tries to balance the lights and the darks. The information is there. You are just going to keep adjusting until you get where you want. I love to add a little contrast. My brightness, whether I need it or not. My black point. You don't want to lose detail, but it will help. Saturation, which is my colors. I always like to give it a little more color. My vibrance, give it a little vibrance. Warmth, I always like to warm my photos a little. That can be too blue, I always give it a little warmth. Tint, I don't need sharpness. Well, you can sharpen a little if you want, but you don't want it to get too grainy. And then I will end up going to the end Always put a vignette on, folks. It's going to deepen the edges. It darkens the edges a little. And then if I need to go back and make any other adjustments um, based upon what I did originally, you can move them. Your saturation. If you want it a little more colorful, and then you are done. Once completed, you can see the difference. This is a little paler. This one is a little brighter, all right? Paler and brighter. You are going to have to do this for several photos and make a collage comparing the edits that you do.